Now here's the repaired head here, Van. Make sure we uh, put the valve in here. See how it's off to one side like the other one was. See how I fixed the fan up here. Pretty straight. Just let me know if you want me to uh, blast this thing or just leave it the way it is. It'll corrode in a couple months anyway to be all the same. So there's the new valve sitting here. All ground up. This is the other head over here. I loosen up these guides here a little bit too. A little bit of slop right there, not too bad. It's pretty loose. Got a little clearance in that one. And this valve is actually deeper than this valve by about. This valve is about 30 thou, 40 thou higher than this valve, so even after the valve job, it still isn't as low as the other one. Both the ones in this head are uh, higher than the other head. So anyway, there's what they look like there. Get these all reassembled. This is the motor we're mocking up here for your push rods. Rocker arm deal. So you can see how I marked the heads for for welding. So we'll see. Uh, get back on that tomorrow. See what's going on with that. This is the other head here. You see how I got it marked up and I got the valve stop in there, but so I probably won't be using that. Anyway, you can see where the push rods will come through at the angle. So you can see what the different rocker arms are. The difference is on these intake valves, they're about 100 thou taller than the stock head, so that will compensate for a lot of the difference in push rod angles and everything. Because if this thing was 100 thou taller up, if you look at it, you come up 100 thou. This one would be down lower, and it'd probably be all right. You can see how this other valve here, how he is. You can see how it's pretty, got a little bit of an angle to it, so. Anyway, we'll see what